Hey guys, John here from Kitty Hawk for part two of the DJI import tutorial. Uh, it's coming to you from the iPad. So first off, we want to go to DJI Go. We've already set our integration. From there, all you need to do is, is sync your flight. So you hit that hamburger at the top right. You go to flight records. And at the top right, you're going to see a cloud icon to sync flights. You can select the time frame, one month, six months, all, and synchronize. Complete. Once you do that, we will automatically import those flights into Kitty Hawk. So as long as your integration is set, you are good to go. I will go into Kitty Hawk. This is a new update coming out um, hopefully in the next day or two, just uh, waiting on Apple to approve, but um, kind of builds on the new UI that we have in, in 7.0. All your awesome weather pre-flight information. And you can see second here in the flight deck menu is DJ status is running. If you tap on import, you can see your integration status. If it, you need to update it for whatever reason, if it's not enabled, um, you'll see a status here. You can also tap sync just to prompt a new update. So let's say you did 10 flights, you don't want to wait for the automated import. You can tap sync if you get a little antsy and, and we'll pop those up to the top of the queue. Um, after that, we just start importing flights as they get pulled over from, from DJI. So you sync from the DJI cloud, we pull them in. You can see the status here of all the flights that have been imported. And then from there you can also see all of the flight records that came in on top of that. And so fully automated, comes with a bunch of, bunch of cool metadata, flight path, all that good stuff. And, and there's zero steps, just fly. So hope that helps and uh, see you guys around.